After two years of talks and after a generation of bloodshed... ...trying to create a new future for Northern Ireland. What we've just witnessed isn't just history, it's the impossible. So my name is Leo. My name is Lucy. My name is Jack. I'm Solomon Clapham. Uh, my name is Sulan. I'm Reese. My name's Reese. I'm Joanna McGillis. My name's Jordan Carson. My name is Musa Mulu. I, I live in Guildford. I'm from Dublin. I live in Dublin, but I'm originally from London. I'm called Macrofalt. From Dublin. I'm from Wales. From Armagh. I've grown up in Dublin. And I'm from West Belfast. I was born the 24th of the 5th, 1997. The 8th of December, 1997. 16th of June, 1998. Born in 1998. 1998. In 1998. 1998. The Good Friday Agreement to me means peace in our time. I hear kind of all these stories from my parents and family about what the troubles were like, but it doesn't really connect fully with me because I'm born in kind of a different time. And I think it was the kind of the Good Friday Agreement that is that shift. Such change has happened since 1998. But it is a completely different country, a completely different society. It gave people, I think, the, the freedom to release themselves from just the awfulness of what was going on. Even in your jobs, you get asked what your religions, what your beliefs are on application forms. So it would even be nice to not have to do that. You know, it's just not matter. <laughs> it's showing that it's a peace process rather than definite resolution. I think that everyone has a part to play in maintaining peace that people in Ireland have to understand more about what's going on in Northern Ireland, young people especially. So peace is something that I've grew up with and it's just all I've ever known. It's probably a testament to the Good Friday Agreement and that I wasn't even aware of the troubles until I became an adolescent and learned about it outside of school through extracurricular things. You know, people want to seize opportunities. Everybody wants to see Northern Ireland move forward and, and have better future and better opportunities. And I think if we continue to really focus on that, then we will achieve that growth. My hopes for the next 25 years would be that integration triumphs segregation. There's so much more to being human than, than recognizing the differences. We, we live in a very accepting society, but it is important to sort of keep note of the fact that that, that isn't a universal guarantee and that it, it has taken a lot of pain and suffering to get here. My hopes would be that 25 years in the future, it wouldn't even be a thing that I had to think about. We, we strongly, strongly commend, commend this, this agreement, agreement to, to the people. people. Reconciliation. Tolerance. Respect. respect partnership, partnership. Equality. equality. Within, within Northern, Northern Ireland. Ireland. Between, between North and South. South. Between, between the these islands. islands. A truly historic, historic opportunity, opportunity for, for a new, new beginning. beginning. On the day of a truly momentous agreement, promising a fundamental change in the political relationship in Northern Ireland between North and South and between Britain and Ireland.